Hello there, welcome to Proper DIY 2 Minute Tips series and today I'm talking about hand batching concrete. There's many times when you're DIYing around the house and garden that sometimes you can use a, a small amount of concrete. I like to do it in the wheelbarrow, which contains the concrete. It also means you can push it to wherever you need to use it. It's really easy to clean out afterwards. So today I'm going to be using a five to one mix. That's one part cement to five parts ballast. And ballast is essentially a mixture of sand and stone. So before you start mixing any concrete, you need to work out how much you're gonna need. So if you multiply the height by depth by width of whatever you wanna fill and work out how many liters you need, you can then compare that to a bag of ballast. Remember when you're adding water to concrete, that actually the more water you put in concrete, the less strength you're gonna get. However, it also, the more water you add, the more workable it makes concrete and workability is essentially how sloppy it is and how easy it is to form a surface. Also, too much water, you end up with cracking. When you mix a batch like this, it's really important that you add water in small amounts and then mix before you assess whether you need any more. A mix of this size can go from dry to soup with just a cup or so of water too much. As soon as water hits cement, the chemical reaction starts working. The concrete doesn't go hard because it dries out. It goes hard because of this chemical reaction. So now this has been mixed, we've got around about a, an hour of useful work before this starts really starting to go hard and unusable. So not a time to panic, but definitely wherever you're gonna put this needs to be ready before you start mixing. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and you find some of those tips at least a little bit useful. Don't forget to check out the other ones on my channel and also subscribe. So this is your two minute tips. Two, one, okay.